What do women in Afghanistan really want to say about their lives? Widows in remote Afghanistan used coloured pencils and modelling clay to creatively illustrate for Medair their lives, their difficulties and their needs. Survival in these mountainous areas is hard work. Without adult males in the household, the vulnerability of these women is very high. Their capacity to grow food or earn an income is limited. Jobs normally done by men need to be done by the women themselves, or they have to trade with others to do these jobs for them, leaving them so much worse off. So how does Medair find out how we can help them best? What are their most critical needs? Many organisations, including Medair, use need surveys or questionnaires with the beneficiaries. The limitation is that it is quite one way because the organisation chooses the topics for discussion. However, considering our Medair value of dignity, I wanted to empower the women to describe their lives to me and highlight topics of their own choice. What is closest to their hearts? What consumes most of their time? So I provided some paper, pencils and modelling clay and they led the way. There were a lot of smiles and giggles. It was a bit of an experiment as these women were illiterate and the majority had never held a pencil before. But they were really excited to have a go and some asked their children to help them. The modelling clay was more familiar as every day they are using their hands to make bread and so they could shape the clay easily. This method empowered them to show me what they felt were the most significant things in their lives. For Hiranasa, this was the daily task of caring for her hens so that she could feed eggs to her granddaughters. Her main need was food. Hawa also worried about food, not having enough. Then she also worried about heating for the winter and how cold she would be. Her main need was warmth. For Charman it was her goat, just the one. Gathering enough grass to feed it through the winter was her main task. But when it produces milk, it is worth it. It was a fun interaction yet with a lot of meaning and depth. The women thanked me for taking an interest in them, a rare occurrence in their culture. Their voices were heard and we gained a greater understanding of life and needs in the area. Some needs we were able to meet immediately and the knowledge we gained will contribute to the design and delivery of the next projects in Afghanistan.